going to see one important and interesting topic python map function so before we jump to the topic please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for further more notification now let's get into the topic now let's see the definition map function in python is the inbuilt function which calls a specific function for each item of an iterable that iterable may be a string list tuple or dictionary this is the syntax for map function where it hold two parameters one is the function name that is already defined another is the iterable where each item in the iterable is passed to the function that is specified so this is how the map function works now let's see why map function is used i will show you with the example first we will define one function named square which helps to return the square of a number this is our list one where it contain numbers 1 Number present in the list. As I already said, list is also an item. So let's by following the conventional way, we use for loop to print square of each number present in the list. If you run this code, we get the answer or output as one, four, nine, sixteen. So this is how the conventional way of Python code looks. the name of the function and the iterable which is list one here since we are converting to list we are using the list type casting and printing the output using the print function and we have neglected the for loop code so by using the uh, map function we can avoid using loops and our way of coding is also more pythonic I have opened my Jupyter notebook. Let's do some hands-on related to map function. Now I'm going to show only two example. With this two example itself, you can understand much more about the map function in detail and very clearly. So let's do some first example. So in this example, I'm going to use the map function. Before that, I'm going to take one list name, list one. Where in this list one, I'm going to uh, take the fruit name apple, banana, and pineapple. So these are the fruit name I'm going to take in this list one. Now I'm going to define a function which will return the length of a fruit name. So the length, the function name is I'm going to take as length, and the parameter we are going to take instead of function as name. Now I'm going to return the length. I'm going to find the length and going to return the length of an fruit present in the list one. So, so this is a function. Now I now I have defined the function. And the remaining work here is to define a map map function. So map, and we have to specify a function name and the iterable. So function name here is length, and the iterable that I have used is is List one. So now I'm going to convert this output of map to the list. So I'm using the list type casting, and I have to print the result. So this is how the code and the map functions use. Now let's see the code and output. See five six nine. Five is the length of an apple. Six is the length of a banana, and nine is the length of the pineapple fruit. So if you see the See how the Python code and the map function work here is map function take two arguments as length name I mean function name as length and the iterable as list one. So in the iterable it has an items as apple, banana and pineapple. So it taking each item first it taking apple and it is passed to the function length and the fun the length function has one parameter so apple is passed there and the length of an apple is written so it is stored in the list one. I mean list L. So the so only the output is five. Same way it goes to banana and pineapple. So this is how the map function work. Now let's see the example two. So here I'm going to show different example. Audio jump. First we will take one list as same wise we are taking the same apple fruit name 
banana and orange and I'm going to take the in this too I'm going to take the color of the color of the fruits mentioned above so yellow and orange so this is the colors of the fruits that I mentioned in the list one sorry I have two I made a code error now this is correct now I'm going to pass this list so I'm going to define one function name combine where I'm going to combine the list 1 and list 2 so I'm taking two parameters here now I'm going to return a plus b where I'm combining the list 1 to the list 2 so a plus b so plus operator is also known as concatenation operator where here the list 1 will be concatenated to the list 2 now I'm going to use the math function so as as previous above the above we are going to store the result in the L list L so I'm now using that casting okay now I'm using the map function we have to specify the function name and the list 1 and list 2 here I have used two iterables list 1 and list 2 we can use two or more iterables depending on the function we are mentioning above okay so here I have in this function we are I have mentioned two parameters so I'm uh, I should be mentioning two iterables in the map function so this is how the map function works now I'm going to print the L so if I run the code I'll get apple red, banana yellow and orange orange so the, the first item and the second item present in the list 1 and list 2 is get attached or concatenated and, the, and is preserved, printed as the result so apple red, banana yellow and orange orange so this is how the map function works so it's so if instead of using for loop we can use a map function and we can get our code in more enhanced way so that's it Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys understood this video. If you like this video, please click the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel.